Welcome to this Tutor Geo Sociology topic video on culture and identity. In this video, we're going to look at the work of Simone de Beauvoir and the second sex. Simone de Beauvoir's The Second Sex was published in 1949 and is widely considered as a cornerstone in feminist philosophy and gender studies. This extensive work provides a deep exploration of female identity and the systemic oppression of women throughout history. By challenging essentialist views of gender and unveiling the social mechanisms that reinforce female subordination, de Beauvoir's work has significantly influenced feminist thought and activism. De Beauvoir's central thesis is succinctly captured in the declaration that one is not born but rather becomes a woman. This assertion is a direct challenge to the prevailing notion that gender differences are innate or biological. Instead, de Beauvoir argues that these differences are the result of social and cultural conditioning. Her thesis revolves around the idea that women are constructed as the other in a patriarchal society, which positions men as the default and women as a deviation from this norm. De Beauvoir's critic of essentialism, the belief that gender traits are inherent and natural, forms the foundation of her argument. She emphasises that gender roles are not biologically determined, but socially constructed, which means they can be challenged and changed. By reframing gender as a product of socialisation rather than biology, de Beauvoir opens the door for rethinking the traditional roles assigned to women. De Beauvoir provides a comprehensive historical analysis of the treatment of women, illustrating how patriarchal structures have entrenched female subordination. She traces women's oppression to ancient societies where women were often viewed as property or relegated to their reproductive roles. As societies evolved, particularly with the advent of capitalism and private property, these gender inequalities became more pronounced. Women's roles became increasingly confined to the domestic sphere, reinforcing their economic and social dependence upon men. This historical perspective reveals how deeply ingrained patriarchal values are and how they have become institutionalised across various eras. By understanding these historical patterns, de Beauvoir demonstrates that the subordination of women is not a result of individual failings, but a systemic and pervasive social construct. One of the critical concepts in the second sex is the myth of the eternal feminine. This term refers to the idealised and stereotypical images of women that are perpetuated through literature, religion and popular culture. These myths often portray women as passive, nurturing and self-sacrificing, reinforcing their subordinate status in society. De Beauvoir argues that these myths are not innocent or benign, they actively serve to justify and maintain existing power dynamics between men and women. By idealising certain traits and roles, these myths create a narrow framework within which women are expected to operate, thus limiting their freedom and reinforcing their dependence on men. This concept challenges readers to scrutinise and deconstruct the stereotypical representations of women that permeate various social institutions. De Beauvoir delves deeply into the process of socialisation and its impact on female identity. From a young age, girls are subjected to social expectations and gender norms that shape their aspirations and self-perception. This socialisation process is reinforced by family, education and media, which all contribute to the internalisation of traditional gender roles. De Beauvoir argues that this socialisation restricts women's potential by emphasising their value in terms of appearance and their ability to attract and please men. Educational systems, family structures and media representations all play a role in perpetuating these gender norms, which limits women's opportunities and reinforces their subordinate status. Drawing from existentialist philosophy, 
de Beauvoir emphasises the importance of individual freedom and authenticity. She asserts that women must transcend the roles and identities imposed upon them by society in order to achieve true autonomy. This involves rejecting the passive acceptance of predefined roles and actively pursuing one's own self-definition. De Beauvoir's existentialism suggests that liberation for women can only be achieved through self-determination and active participation in shaping your own identity. This means women must challenge social expectations and create their own paths, rather than conforming to traditional roles. By embracing existential freedom, women can achieve a sense of authenticity and personal fulfilment, according to de Beauvoir. De Beauvoir critically examined the institutions of marriage and motherhood, highlighting how these roles often limit women's personal growth and freedom. She argues that marriage traditionally reduces women to a dependent status, constraining their opportunities and potential. Similarly, motherhood can be both fulfilling and oppressive, particularly when it becomes a woman's sole identity and focus. De Beauvoir advocates for women's economic independence and their participation in the workforce as crucial steps towards achieving equality. By encouraging women to seek opportunities outside the domestic sphere, she challenges the traditional division of labour and promotes a more equitable distribution of responsibilities and opportunities. The second sex has had a profound impact on feminist theory and the women's liberation movement. De Beauvoir's examination of female identity and oppression has inspired generations of feminists to question societal norms and advocate for gender equality. Her work has been instrumental in highlighting the need for a critical examination of traditional gender roles and the importance of women's autonomy. The legacy of Du Beauvoir's work is evident in the continued relevance of her ideas in contemporary feminist discourse. Her insights into the construction of gender, the critique of patriarchal structures and the call for existential freedom continue to influence and inspire discussions about gender equality and women's rights. That concludes this Tutor to You sociology topic video on culture and identity. Looking at the work of Simone de Beauvoir on the second sex. Thanks for watching.